بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي مدد so I was saying that uh, in the house at home begin peace so what kind of is Shia Muslim have you been at home that uh, you would uh, go and uh, join the uprising uh, of uh, Houthis that is completely kafirun because God said to me in London I re- received this in the Quran against you know the love I showed and uh, praying for my enemies too that God guide them lead them to the right way give them happiness and uh, my other relatives, Shia relatives, no peace at here, home. You see, first seek peace at home. And uh, what uh, uh, coming from the Quran, Surah Hamim Sajda, that one who has immense good remains waiting peacefully and then God sends angels down on them when they say God is one and they believe in this power, this oneness power, this un- unity power. And the one who has great good, great good would peacefully your enemy can become your bosom friend. Surah Hamim Sajda verse. Lot of uh, family members telling me about against that other Shia family member. And uh, uh, she does jadu, black magic, this, that. She has harassed us. They are the ones saying this and then harassing me. Coming into my house and getting possessed. Coming into my house and doing something with the maid servant. Coming into my house having affair. But no, not them. Coming into my house and molesting me. But I'm telling you that I have tried my best. Now what can I do? Only kill myself? I don't kill myself for these evil people. I only did it for love. In the Quran, Hamim Sajda verse, these kafirun say, let us find these people who have done wrong to us and crush them under our feet who have misguided us who have led us astray. But uh, to those with uh, great goodness, they, I mean, the way they act, their mannerism, they completely rely on the God. Remember yourself when you were strong, a little bit, probably little bit strong, against uh, someone, your enemy, supposed enemy, how you act with her children. So God accepted this. Thankfully, Alhamdulillah, no Shia Muslim doing this, just uprising. Even Imam Hussain alayhi salam said, that uh, I am not rising as a rebellious person. And uh, what is this Shia, you stupid people? Sorry to say, but you are putting a lot of civilians, poor people, under a lot of this thing. Loss, not following the true Islamic ways 
and the waiting for your Imam to come. When I even try to bring some case, go to the police station, one aunt of mine stopped me and say, no, let the Mola deal with this. What our hypocritical enemies want is that we uprise and the uh, bring rebelliousness in us and uh, we say for our human rights we want this and that but you see give them a chance you don't do this kind of a thing just go uprising that uh, some puppet American has kept wanting to keep in Yemen or in Syria. First, everything good before Syria good. Before this uprising and rebelliousness, it is much better. But uh, you are being provoked and instigated that it would get worse if you now do not rise against these hypocrites and seek your rights. And uh, even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu didn't do this. He married, he got married, so much trouble. Uh, we are told in history that uh, given to him by the wives but he just move away from them for a little while. He keep himself away. Verse come that you can divorce this hypocritical, harassing wife. He not do it. Imam Ali salam, we are told, told, asked him, Sayyid Yusuf Zadi tell me, God only knows to divorce it, divorce her. But he say no. Sayyid Yusuf Zadi tell me that uh, when Imam Hassan salam had a peace treaty with Mavia, so his own Shia troubling him saying we don't agree why you have peace with them and this and that. Now the same Shia is doing the same kind of a thing. And so that is not Shiaism. It, you must follow your Imam, whether you like it or you don't like it. What, uh, what are uh, hypocrites are doing? You are the hypocrites. You are the hypocrites. You are disbelievers, you are kafirun. You would be put in the greatest abyss, depths of ab abyss, fire, in hell forever and ever. First Imam come and see our last Imam, who in Shia Islam, we are told, is uh, being disobedient First, correct yourselves. And the Iran burning Saudi embassy. Where did Rasulullah, God, Nauzibillah, la hawla la quwwata illa billah al ali al azim, never did this kind of a thing in his life that you are showing and doing. That's why I have left the uh, Shias, so-called Shias. First, try to bring peace here at home. I fail within my Shia community and family members and the relatives. What am I going to do, go uprising against America? And uh, this... Uh, emotional outbursts 
against Islam, not in the spirit of Islam. Hazir Imam say, not in the spirit of Islam. At all. This is the thing of the kafirun. This is ego uprising. This is satanic uprising. This is what the, the evil people and the people in my own family, jealous people, want me to do, that I get angry and I abuse and I uprise and we become mentally unstable and rebellious. This all the satanic, their plans are coming true. You follow His Highness Ahan. He even look like he have mannerisms like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. He is doing what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam would have done in these times. How gracefully, and he is succeeding. He's prospering us that the message, Islam's message, is now over. Now we need to build on it, build on ourselves. And this is what we are doing, Hazir Imam is doing, not me. I am trying but failing. And uh, seeing 12 verses, my heart sinking and uh, sinking. So respect the rule of law of your country and the government and the sheikhdom. If you are in sheikhdom, you respect that and you go with them. This is originally sheikh's lands. So you must know how to live in someone's land that has now become a city but make it clear to yourselves that this is not your land. And uh, let the government of your own countries deal with the problem. When Hazir Imam not interfering, who are you to interfere? Appeal to their souls properly like Surah Nisa. What is this going on? Take non-violent way, ways and uh, when that all the avenues Imam Hussain alayhi salam did not just go like that appeal to the government you are just assuming that Yemen's president is a puppet of America and have risen up in rebelliousness for your rights and cause so much chaos it is you it is the Houthi rebelliousness that has brought Saudi Arabia and UAE to do this because this is not allowed in Islam you don't have the wisdom you don't have that Wisdom of the Imam, the Quran say at times, wait as we are waiting. Quran, ayat come to me, wait as we are waiting. No Muslim ever do this kind of a thing. If they are following proper Islam. But we have deviated and we should consider ourselves kafirs, not Muslims at all.